in Matthew's favor so far. He's really chipped up a lot as the short stack. I mean, he survived a yeah. bunch of pay jumps, and now I think he's actually – I think Rudy's actually the shortest uh, yeah. stack now. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's a really even, like, decent spot for Preston that that's happening because with Rudy, oh, my gosh – how many times are we going to see this clash? Surely the Jacks will hold this time. I, I don't see him not jamming this. Yeah, he's going to jam, but I don't think he's going to get called. No, I don't think so. Ace-10 offsuit a little too weak to call here. Ace-Jack and Ace-Queen might be a call, but honestly, I think you even <laughs> fold those. Yeah, yeah, I mean, look at uh, look at Matthew's chip stack. All in for five point three million. Preston only has nine point three million. He would be the shortest stack if he called this and lost. And it's like a weird reverse pressure. Like normally, you see big stacks putting pressure on the short stacks, but in this case, it's one of the shorter stacks putting pressure on the big stack consistently. It's it's a really cool dynamic that Matthew is um, is making work to his advantage. Not only that, but. Because Matthew has shoved so much and you, you don't know what he's shov shoving with, Ace-10 becomes a prettier hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. He's cutting out some chips here. He's not decided whether or not he wants to fold yet. Yeah, I mean, Matthew's actually had pretty good hands when he's shoved so far. I think the only um, – the weakest hand he shoved was, like, the 10-9 suited. Oh, wow. Calls. Wow. That, that's uncharacteristic, I think, from, from what we've seen, but – like I said, when your opponent has shoved as much as he has and you haven't been able to see what he's shoving with, Ace-10 becomes a lot stronger. But surprisingly, we have not seen Matthew shove one time with a hand like Ace-8. So, Yeah, which of course Preston doesn't know, but this is huge. Uh, Matthew, a 76% favorite to become the chip leader here, 25% and he's out in fourth after running up his short stack. And we did see an Ace being folded. That's oh. a pretty safe, I mean, some uh, some straights on the board, potentially. Some chop outs as well. Yeah, some chop outs for sure. Well, you can see Ace-10 with the with the 13%, and Preston would be in. Wow. What a turn. Has to be a, a six or a jack or an ace on this river. Eight outs with one folded ace for Preston. Yeah, and you hate to see that turn with the jacks. You just know it's going to be the jack on the river. And, and he holds. He holds, yeah. Wow. Matthew now the chip leader. By a lot. By a lot. I think the biggest stack we've seen of the night, uh, 11 million. Wow, that is massive for Matthew. Yeah, and like we were saying, it, it's anyone's game. Matthew had something like 13 big vines at one point, and now he's a chip leading with 43 bigs with Preston in the short stack. So, yeah, I mean, you can't fault Preston for the call. And, wow, Matthew's going to have – from being almost crippled down everyone's stack to being double everyone's current yeah, stack. Yeah, it's an unbelievable run up. I mean, he's had a good run of cards for sure, but I think he's also done a great job playing the short stack. Now we'll see if he plays the uh, if he puts the pressure on as the big stack as well as he was as the short stack. I mean, he's been playing.